Uh, yo, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Eddie Clutch, and we back at it again on the Clutch Time Podcast. And I got with me my boy Sav G in the cut, yeah. representing Jersey, getting lit, getting active with it, and let's just jump right into it, bro. So, uh, what got you into music? What got me into music was probably I don't know. When I was younger, I used to listen to like like Wu Tang and all that. So you know, I was big on that growing up, and then. Started listening, you know, drill started coming up. Started listening to drill, and I already know I had the talent for the music, so I was like, why not pursue my dream? Exactly, yeah. So when you talk about, you know, growing up on Wu Tang and now getting into drill, yeah. what drill rappers inspired you to start getting into uh, drill music? To be honest, all the guys, bro. I seen everybody else doing it. I knew that I I could do it, so I was like, why not? You know I me? Mean? Yeah. Everybody going up. Yeah. What do you think about a lot of the the drill scene nowadays? Where at first, you know, everybody was doing drill. They was talking about what they're doing on the tracks. You know, backing up nowadays, drill is just like a its own little genre. People just rapping on drill beats. Right. You know, not really talking about what they're doing. And you know, how do you feel about that nowadays? I mean, I feel like specifically, if you're not rapping what you're doing, then you should be, you know, you shouldn't be rapping what you're doing, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But unless, you know, you could, I mean, there's certain ways you could, uh, there's certain things you could do, but I feel like if, you, if you're if you not rapping what you're doing, I mean, most of these rappers are not rapping what they're doing. Exactly. They, they you feel me? Oh, I'm about to go spin, you know, it, it yeah, don't happen you know, often, but if you know that you have abilities to do that, then you could put that shit in the track. Exactly, yeah. You know, look at it now. Like, even back in the day, like, we're all gangster rap. Like, y'all know you talk about Wu-Tang Clan. You know, yeah. talk about, like, all these old rappers in, like, the 80s, 90s. Yeah. You know, all the, you know, East, East Coast, West Coast shit. Like, right. everyone, you know, back in the day, they really talked about what they were doing. You talk about, like, N.W.A., they talked mm-hmm. about it. But nowadays, especially in the social media age, where you can literally just look on your phone to see if it's proven or not, yeah. you really nowadays got to back up what you're doing. Because a lot of these rappers, they're just not doing that nowadays. Not right. you know, they're, 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 there's, like, all these people that they just get exposed for it. And then yeah. they get looked at as, like, oh, this and that. Especially, like, you look at some of these rappers that be snitching in court. You know, right. you look at, like, the, the six nines, the gunners. Mm-hmm. that And these songs, they're saying, oh, this, that, we never snitched, this, and that. And then right. first thing you know, they're snitching it's like yeah. who do we really trust nowadays like right. you know especially like for for the casual fans that just like it just because you know they hear the beat and it's catchy mm-hmm. but for the diehard fans that are really about that lifestyle mm-hmm. they're gonna look at you differently and then you're not gonna get a lot of credit so you gotta definitely be talking about what you're doing yeah, no, so sure. talking about that what do you be talking about on your songs you know for for the audience that doesn't know your music like what do you like to talk about on your songs what i like to talk about, about stuff that i like to do in gta to be honest, that's what I like to do. <laughs> Will you be doing the GTA? Uh, you know. Went up the road a couple times, but you know. You know, typical GTA stuff. Yeah, you know. I grew up on GTA. Man. Nah, for sure. Y'all should get a trailer, right? Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. Like, what, what, what do you think about that new trailer coming out? That shit look hard, not gonna lie. Yeah, it really does. I mean, I do, I do like the fact that, like, they're giving that, you know, Florida persona, you know, mm-hmm. all the things. I saw, as soon as I saw the alligator scene, I'm like, yeah, yeah. they're trying to do some Florida man type yeah, shit on this game. Like, yeah. I was like, you know what? They have a whole like I'm looking at the maps and shit that they're leaking out. Like they're supposed to be like all the big name cities in Florida. They got um you know of course Miami, you know, yeah. uh, uh, Vice City. They got all the different you know yeah. side areas. But it's supposed to be like different cities. So they're gonna do some of it like Tampa. I heard, I, I heard they're doing something in Jacksonville too. Like you know yeah. I, be, I be in Jacksonville all the time. Shout out to Duval County over there. Um you know that shit would be tough too because it's like when I played GTA 4 yeah. I, I started playing that again recently because it was like I look at the map and I'm like I see all the you know similarities with that yeah. going to New York City all the time you know yeah. going, going, always going to Manhattan yeah. all that I fuck with that and then when I went to LA you know uh, with uh, GTA 5 it's great to you know get a feel for like what to expect so when they're talking about these the game making it so realistic mm-hmm. to the point where like you can go into like every fucking house in the game yeah. it's gonna be crazy like what do you what do you think about um the uh, the graphics wise because like, they're, they're saying they're doing like a it's like a the graphics i forgot the name of the graphics but it's supposed to be like some advanced yeah. type shit like i from what i seen on the trailer that shit the graphics looked great i'm not gonna lie that shit looked like a nice little fun game to play you feel me yeah for real you want PC, Xbox, PlayStation? Uh, I, I used to, I'd be playing Xbox. Word, yeah. Gangsta. Yeah, for real. I be, I got be system, but I, my main thing is like PlayStation, because yeah. all my friends are on there. All my online friends are Xbox, all my yeah. IRL is PlayStation, you know. Yeah, yeah. PC is just too complicated for me. Yeah, they be wilding on that shit. Yeah, so when, uh, when you're talking about, uh, music, back on, back to music now, yeah. uh, what do you think your best song is in your catalog right now? Best song? I gotta say, what I just made with my Smooth, you know, that was probably, 
that shit fire, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's the name of it. Uh, right now it's probably gonna be on feet, but you know, we, we're, we're, what was it about? Uh, you know, typical drill shit. For real, bro. <laughs> typical shit. You feel me? But I don't know really how to explain it. You know, if you listen to all the other drill rappers, you might as well listen to me. And you gonna get the same fans are gonna get the same shit that they wanna hear from out of them. You are gonna get hear from me. Yeah. So yeah. But while you're saying that, you know, you're saying like you're gonna hear the same shit. What? Not the same flow. Yeah. You know, like, like I, I get what you mean. But like, yeah. what, you, what stands you out than all these other different. rappers out there? What, what, what makes you different from all them? I write my music. <laughs> A lot of rappers do not write their music. Drake. Shaggy K. <laughs> but we don't want no me. beef. No beef. <laughs> but you know. Let's be for real, but that's really it. Yeah, exactly. What What do you think going on the the whole ghost riding scene? How important is it for you to write your own lyrics? It's very important because you can't, uh, like, I don't, I don't know how to explain this, but if you have a talent for something, then do that talent. You feel me? Don't try to act like something you're not. Like, if you want to just wake up and be a rapper, that shit whack. Oh, I'm going to get a ghost writer, you know? That shit whack, bro. I don't know. There's, like, new rappers every day, bro. Yeah. It shit getting too easy, really. Way is. too easy. Way too with easy. social media. You know? mm-hmm. Back in the day, you know, yeah, it was hard. People, to get it, it's hard. You know what it is? You have mm-hmm. to get studio time. People have studios, and I have a studio in my house. Yeah. Like, look, you can just post on SoundCloud. You post on right. all these different distributors. When I was first starting, like ten years ago, with my music, yeah. it was so hard to figure it out. Like I only started posting my stuff because my friend texted me. Where he's like, "Yo, there's this app called SoundCloud. I think you should start posting your little yeah. freestyles on there." And I'm like, "That's yeah. when it started getting big." And then I was like. I don't know what I I started going on. You know, I started recording it from my phone with the beat on the computer. Mm-hmm. Then it was oh, Band Labs out. Yeah. Then it was going to school. Then it was like oh, I went to school. Then I was able to get a Pro Tools subscription mm-hmm. through school. Yeah. Then Pro Tools. Then going to different studios. Right. You know, doing Band stuff Labs. with Smooth and all that. And and then going to these different uh, distributors like DistroKid or, um, yeah. or Tune or whatever the ones you use. Right. And it's just posting out. Everybody's a rapper now. So it's so, so I think it's even harder now to become big because you have all these, everyone says it's so easy, yeah. but how is it easy if there's a million other people just like me that want to do this shit? Right. Instead of it being a, a vague number because of the way yeah. it is, because it's all about who you know. And right. at the end of the day, it's always going to be about who you know. If you know different people in your in your hood, pe- different people in your in, in your town that mm-hmm. know people in the, in the industry, yeah. that's how you get out of there. You just can't post a song and expect it to go viral overnight. You gotta right. have different connections, different plugs mm-hmm. that are gonna get you that space. Yeah, for sure. And mixed by smooth is that plug, y'all. Y'all come tap in. Yeah, for real. Yo, it's smooth. You on my phone? Stand on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but nah. I, was, I, I got that phone. I was like, bro, like I don't let nobody on that shit, bro. That shit, be, that shit be like my whole life now, cause I'm like, you know what? I be taking all these videos, crazy shit on that shit. Yeah. What do you, what do you, what do you think about you know the impact of social media nowadays on music? Social, social media, I say it helps a lot. It's a, uh, it's great, you know. But you don't want to get involved with it too much. You know, you got to stay out politics, bro. And social media will really get to your head, honestly. That's why, you feel me, I think it's best to stay away from it from a couple days, you know. Especially with this music shit, you're going to get hate regardless. Even if you're nice. You could be the nicest rapper on the earth. You're going to get, somebody's going to hate you, bro. And you just got to accept that, bro. Like, I stopped doing music for a couple years because I dropped a music video. I seen the comments. But then I learned, right, then I learned that all my homies would tell me, like, yo, you got it, come on. Start going to the studio, I got it, you feel me? Band Lab, too, Band Lab was... Band Lab was my shit back in the day, bro. Mm-hmm. I remember my first song I did um, was... What was it? Yeah, it was Eiffel Tower, so this song I did was Eiffel Tower. It was, uh, I remember my boy Mafia, shout out my boy Mafia and uh, King Tay. We was talking about, uh, he was, we were in this group chat. We still got the group chat, still to this very day. Like, I can yeah. scroll all the way up in the combo, <laughs> and it still says, like, 2015, 2016. Damn. And it's like, oh, there's this app called Band Lab you can start using for your music. And I'm like, mm-hmm. let me try it out. So I did it. I actually was able to record it on my, uh, like, the, you know, like the little, like, wired, like, yeah. iPhone. That's iPhone, how, iPhone that's how yeah. I started with my that's music. That's how I started, too. Like, I just put it on there. I was like, you know what, let me try that shit out real quick. And I did that. And uh, I started, I, I was like, yo, this is actually really good. I saw all the effects I could use on it. Yeah. I was like, word, 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 let me do that. Right. Dropped the song. Mm-hmm. Probably that, it was like that same night I had a strep throat. I was like, word, like I can barely talk, but fuck yeah, it, let me yeah. do it. Fuck and it was so easy Then I started writing more songs, doing mm-hmm. more songs. My, probably my biggest song, I, it, it, controversially, like everyone thinks this, views wise, this is the biggest song, but right. I feel like my best song isn't this, but like, right. 
uh, was done on band lab. You know, I was yeah. able to do it on there. Then I was then when I went to uh, high school, I transferred schools. Mm-hmm. Pro Tools, I, I, we had a Pro Tools class, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Yo, like, see how you can put the, the same audio in Pro Tools. See how it uh, flexes out and right. messes out. It sounded way better than, than band, band lab. Yeah. I was like, yeah, because you know when you when you insert a audio into a DAW, it's gonna sound different. Every single DAW is gonna sound different. Right. Well, at least I noticed. And then it's just um, it's just one of those things where it's like you know you do a song great and it comes out perfectly for you but other people may like me not it may not be like that industry standard Mm -hmm. so that's why you got to be able to make it industry standard and band labs a great way to start yeah no definitely i I started from that's where i really started i made my first song that i had a music music video to i was a youngin got like three or four k on there you know something like but um yeah i started i made that off band lab and then i started i kept going you know got the hate stop for me for a little bit but then i started to get back into it picked up band lab and i really dropped a couple songs that was from band lab that i made my audio sound good so you feel me yeah it's, and you know what it is all about the talent of how you can produce it because right. if you can do something good mm-hmm. i have people that were on band lab that I was like, man, this is from a band lab thing. Like, yeah. I have people that are like, even on like projects, they're like, oh, you recorded this from your phone, like, because right. you we be using the, the the Neumann and stuff like all the time. And I'm like, yeah. shit, like some of these things sound just as good as it, you know, right. like I, as you know, somebody that like produces, I can still tell the difference. But I'm like, if it's that good, it's, mm-hmm. it's right. gonna be crazy. When you sure. when you when you did your video, like, how does it, how did you like approach the video, like when you first did it, like how do you? I was a youngin, so I was a little nervous, but. You feel me? I took my opportunity. I got a uh, nice opportunity. My boy he told me he was like, "You get some good." He was positive on me. You get good grades in school, I'll hook you up. My boy WL Visuals, he hooked me up, and I was nervous, but you know, I, I did it. You feel me? Yeah. I got through it. Probably a bad anxiety for me, but shit. Everyone was getting nervous first video, yeah. bro. Nah, facts. Cause nah. everyone's like, "You're gonna look at yourself. You're gonna be like." Oh, do I look good enough? Do I have this right? Is the is the shisey on right away? Like, is it like, sure. like, every, every, like every little detail? Because you know what it is? People overreact, you know, when they think of, even when I'm in the studio, like with a song, like if I hear like a little thing that's a little off, yeah. nobody's going to notice it. It may actually sound even better than what I thought it was going to be, right. but you're just going to think like, it has to look like this. It, has to, it doesn't have yeah. to always be like that, yeah. you know? It's just one of those things where it's like, you know what? You overthink it too much. Right. Like, that's, that's just the problem, especially with up and coming artists. Mm-hmm. They overthink everything. They're like, it has to be. No, it doesn't. Just as long as you're doing your thing and people fuck with it, right. it's all that counts. You know, you're gonna you're gonna have haters. You're gonna have people that yeah. criticize you, no matter what. No matter if you're getting a thousand views or a billion views, right. you know, it's gonna be hate. You know? Biggest artists in the world are always gonna get hate. For sure, biggest exactly. artists in the world. You know what it is? When you have more of a fan base, more you know views and stuff, you're gonna get twice as much hate, triple amount of hate. Because if you have, let's say, if you have one hater per he- for, for every like hundred fans, you know. Yeah. You get a thousand fans, that's gonna be ten. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna get twenty, thirty, then you're gonna have way more hate and then it's gonna get more serious. Like right. I've dealt with the hate before. Like and yeah. I and I'm saying it's like, you know, personally, you know, like just don't take that. You know, there's gonna be people that are gonna hate you. There's gonna be people that are gonna threaten you. There's gonna be people that are gonna try to bring you down yeah. in life. Right. Don't let that happen to you because at the end of the day, it's your dream, bro. Like if you think you can do this, if you know you can do this, fuck what they gotta say. And you know what? Use that right. as motivation. Whenever somebody sends me some hate whether it's a dm message whatever i laugh it off and you know what i say thanks that's giving that's giving me more motivation i'd rather have people tell me they hate my stuff than tell me they like it because that just fuels me up more because if i they like it it's like okay you know they like it Mm -hmm. oh they don't like it nah nah i gotta go in there prove them wrong gotta go harder than ever because it's just i gotta it's because when i want to prove a point i'm proving a point so always don't let that bring you down like i get it sometimes mental breaks are good bro it's just you know don't you know it's always okay to let it out sometimes but don't do it too often because you're gonna bring yourself down unless you really need it yeah exactly when uh talking about your songs and stuff what do you think your hardest bar is out of every song you ever hardest did? bar oh uh, man i said i forgot what i said bro but i said some shit i was like something burning like chest like with henny you know it involved it i was doing i was on my old school like little wu-tang shit and that something like that i can't really think of a specific bar but that i think that was my hardest shit i mean it's like nowadays you really don't really need bars to go up with the shit but if you're really talented you know i, I don't know drill you don't really need bars every every drill song is really the same yeah. now it's just, every day every other word is suck my dick or something like yeah. it's just I, I i was i was at a basketball court with my boys we're all we're at the gym playing basketball and 
one friend's like, damn, every song is suck my dick. Like, really, like, that's just what it is. It's just the different flows and styles. That, it, you know what it is? That's the only thing that stands out as different. It's just mm-hmm. the sound and the, right. the the style. They're like, what kind of, going into that now, like, what kind of style of drill do you like? Do you like the more melodic? Do you like the more sample beats? Do I you like, like just... I like sample beats, but I really like, you know, like, bouncy, like, kind of like Jersey Club type. Yeah, Jersey Club. Yeah, that's but, that's going me. wrong. Duh. What uh, what kind of samples do you like in in that? Like, do you like more of like What's... classic, like classic samples? Yeah, like, like more like two thousand tens kind of. Yeah. Also, also, what's that? What's Shorty name that uh, I don't know. No, she did like mad shit for X, like the beats in the background. She did like Jocelyn Floors or something like that. Shiloh Dynasty, Dynasty yeah. or something like that. Yeah, her like those drill beats. Those is hard. No. That's really hard, yeah. Because a lot of people like. For me personally, like I just love like the the sample stuff. Because when yeah. I do some drill songs, like the sample stuff is cool. Because because when you listen to a song, I was saying this on the last podcast. When you have people that listen to your songs, yeah. and they they already know the sample, they're gonna want to listen to it more because right. they're gonna want to see how you interpret the song. Fact. So like for me, like when I when I listen to music, like personally, like if you look at my uh, Spotify rap or whatever, I, I use Apple Music, but the yeah. Apple Music rap. It's all like not even rap. It's all like like rock music, all that like yeah. classic shit. Cause it's like that just vibes with me. That's just like you know that's my phase I'm in. And it's I see, I hear like some of these songs um and they use some of the rock samples and I'm like oh shit like I fuck with that. Like I heard I heard this one sample. I was saying the last time I was like bro how, how do you know about this band? Like why are you listening to this on your playlist? And then the beat dropped and I was like. Hey, so, yo, like that's crazy. But then it also attracts that fan base. So if you have like a uh, like a like a band or a, a, an artist, like let's say somebody samples like a Taylor Swift song, right? You're gonna have people that are fans of Taylor Swift listen to your song because they mm-hmm. want to see how the sample came out, right? So even like I said, even if it's just one view, mm-hmm. that's still one person that listened to your song. That's one extra penny you make right. on Apple Music, and then that's the algorithm going right. up. Not so sure. I fuck with those sample shits. Not for sure. You know what a you know, with the drip and all that on, what uh, what inspired you to get the drip on like that? You know, what what made you want to wear a shicey and, and you know have all to the To be honest, stuff? bro, this is like you feel me. I wear these are some pants. I just went to school like this to be yeah. honest, bro. I just threw this shit on real quick. None too like my brother made these pants. Cash cow, go check it out. And then you know the Jordan shit. I don't even know where I got this from. To be honest. <laughs> you know Nike hoodie and then shicey. You feel me? Yeah, that shit. But, yeah, nah, shicey's be tough. Not gonna nah, lie, yeah. especially this time of year, bro. People be thinking, oh, you want to wear a shicey because it's a, uh, you know, the culture. You know, right. you want to be, you want to be on some fuck nah, shit. Nah, like cool, I need to keep warm, bro. Yeah, it'd be cool, bro. Bro, not gonna lie, like I, I, I had my shicey last year, bro. I was, I went to Canada, bro. I was the only motherfucker walking around Canada in a damn shicey. But people, <laughs> people were looking at me like, this guy about to rob me or something. Like, yeah. nah, bro. Like I'm freezing. My ears are freezing and shit. Like it's yeah. just, that's just what I gotta do to wear. But um, it, it's just one of those things. You know, you're saying you're in school, but you're still in like high school, college. Or high school. How old are you, bro? I'm 17. You're 17. You're doing. Yeah. Look at this. You got. A 17 year old here right now in high school still doing his music going crazy off this shit like that that's just showing like nowadays a lot of people younger are just coming up on the scene because they they want this early so it's like you know you can't look at some of these artists like they didn't get big till they were like in their 20s or even 30s and you see these 16 17 year olds you know you look at um dd osama he's like 14 15 16 year old doing these songs and it's like it's crazy like you're listening like i remember he was the one song he's like i'm only 14 i was like Wait, what? I'm I'm bumping my head to a 14 year old song. Like that's yeah. crazy. Like that just shows that like it's talent. Like the youth, right. the youth is really picking up, you know, the right. puzzle and picking up the pieces. For, that's for why it comes I, to music. Nah, for sure. That's why I say like music is very easy. A lot of people could rhyme. I don't know, but yeah, a lot of people could rhyme like Didi Osama. I'm not gonna lie, he whack. <laughs> like, like, but shit, he fucking famous as fuck. If that's what's gonna get him famous, then say la vie, brother, man. Exactly, exactly. Ain't, I ain't trying to bring him down, but you ass it. I ain't trying to bring him down. Damn, bro, you taking shots at Didi Osama. That's crazy, man. Uh, when you, when you in school, bro, like, how, did, how does, you know, your, you know, how do you pick up on the, you know, your, your style and everything in school compared to, you know, music wise? Because, you know, you got, you have two different personas in life. You have your rap and your personal stuff how does that you know intertwine in, in honest, school I really only go to school to graduate that's the only thing in my mind right now is graduating cause that's I feel like it's really 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 the most important thing to do is exactly graduate, yeah. is graduate you feel me that's why I go I, to be honest I'm quiet yeah. Yeah. 
people be bumping your, your shit in school like yeah for sure yeah. How, how does it feel when you have people in your school just be listening to your music like that like it feel it feel good but what dick suckers to be honest but they just want to be us and be down but shit that's what come with us come with it but I appreciate them because you know they put a view on my song exactly that's what I <laughs> that's, say like you said the penny that shit count exactly bro and then it helps like I said it may be a penny but it's a penny in your pocket helps mm-hmm. the algorithm right. crazy all that shit like I said but like back in high school back uh, before me and cause me and Smooth went to the same high school but back when I was in public mm-hmm. um, what ended up happening was that uh Back in the day, even my music was ass back. I will admit, my music was ass, bro. A little high pitched voice, <laughs> fucking. And, and like I said, everyone, when they first start off, their music's gonna yeah. be ass, you know? Right. And people were still blasting my shit in the hall. We had this mm-hmm. like little thing called Times Square in the middle of the, in the middle of the school. It was like this big, like, center, and everyone just hang out there. That's where, like, all like the different wings meet. Right. And we ha- I always had a speaker on me, so we always be blasting music. And of course, one day my boy brings his speaker. And, you know, he starts yeah. playing my music, and I'm like, bro, we all just playing my music and shit. I'm like, yeah. bro, that shit's just crazy. That you know what? It's cool. It's, it's a good like ego booster too. I mean, no, yeah, sometimes sure. they'll be doing this to fuck with you, but at the same yeah. time, it's like, you know what? I'm you're still listening to it. Yeah, right. So that's like, what. Like, who the fuck? Like, shit. I don't give a fuck. Anybody can listen to my music. To be honest, you know, I appreciate them, even if it's people that I don't see head to head with, but, or eye to eye. You know, that I don't see eye to eye with. But yeah. yeah so. When you when you in school and stuff like when uh people come up to you talking about your music and stuff like yeah. do you just like be fo- like focusing on that the whole day you just be focusing on like your school work like it, it, how does it like how does it affect you mentally like when it when it comes to that stuff because it, it, it'd be tough sometimes I consume it I appreciate it but then you know I move on because I know I be focusing on school work exactly bro, yeah but for people out there that you know watching how, how important is your education it's very important very important no matter if you're a real rapper no nothing that is very important because not everybody is going to come up off this shit and you always going to need a backup plan exactly for sure yeah, I'm finishing up college right now bro like literally that, that's a that's big sure. thing like, like yeah. I said you know took time off to go to college do all this stuff it, it, mm-hmm. it's very important to do all that because at the end right. of the day not only are you going to get your ed- education get something to fall back on you're still going to you're going to learn things in school that it may not affect you now but sometimes like you know like, like I'm not gonna understand all the math shit. Yeah. I'm not gonna understand all the the weird shit that I learned in school. Right. Some of the things, especially in college, bro, they be teaching you some weird ass shit, bro. Yeah. But like, some of these things can be used as either a motivation to fuel you to say, hey, I don't want to be stuck in this in a, like a you know a, a middle aged job doing yeah. some fuck shit. I want to make it into the music industry. Or two, it's like some of the things that you hear in class, you may relate back to in a freestyle or something. Mm-hmm. You may see something like there was this one. Uh, like we were, and we were in film class and I watched this uh, they, they were showing this like old ass movie I'm like shit yeah. this should be like a dope ass like concept for like a video or something mm-hmm. like you you use the things you learn into your daily life into your career right. because that's just huge when it comes to mm-hmm. all that shit and then you look sure. back and you're like it's crazy when you're talking about the cooler man what do you say it was your brother or something that does the yeah, cooler man cash what, what is, what is, what's that all about my brother, he uh, he working on like you know music industries and shit. You know he going to uh, I think school for it and stuff. But he, you know, he's making his own clothes. And uh, when we was younger, he made a like a clothing line called Cash Cow. You know something like and. I ain't even making hard sweatsuits. I'll be rocking them. That's my brother. I'm always gonna show him love. You know that. Yeah, exactly. Shout yeah, I do sweatpants, sweatpants, sweatshirts, yeah. all that stuff too. Yeah, yeah. You got Perfect. Yeah, yeah, that. definitely. Uh, get the ad out, whatever it is. Yeah, nah, it is. yeah. Nah, for sure. Plug it for real, bro. I'm telling nah, you, bro. I'm, I'm big on you know, uh, you know, local businesses and stuff. You know, right. that's the big thing because that's what keeps you know everything going is the small businesses. You know, right. everyone's like corporate and stuff. Like, oh, they want the Nike, they want the you know the Kappas, the, yeah. the Yeezys. Nah, like, bro, like the little businesses, bro. That's what gets mm-hmm. people going because. The big shit. businesses were little too at one point. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I thought the yeah, thing stopped recording. I was like, okay, good. I'm about to say, uh oh. <laughs> but nah, but like, when it comes to your when when it comes to your music and stuff, like, what do you feel like? You, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're, like, and it's one, going back on one more quick. Oh, yeah, no, nah, I was gonna say like, yeah, you good, you good. Yeah. Oh, where yeah. So, uh, finishing this off, bro, what, what's your message to your fans? Like, what do you want to say to your fans? I appreciate y'all. Keep doing what y'all doing. 
If you feel down, always pick yourself up. You know, go talk to somebody. That's what's very important. Always try to talk to somebody, bro. It's always good to have a talk. Exactly, bro. And what's your biggest... And one more thing, bro. What's your uh, viewpoints on life, bro? Like, what's life, your life message? You only get one chance, as far as I know. You only get one chance to be here, bro. Go hard at it. Make something out of yourself and prove everybody wrong. For sure. Exactly, bro. Yeah, this has been the Clutch Time Podcast, bro. And my man Sal G in the cut. Go follow him on Instagram. Listen to all his music. He's up and coming artist in Jersey. Sure. About to be the next big thing coming up on the drill scene. It's gonna be big. I'm telling you, bro. He's great. Smart guy. <laughs> understands his stuff and bro, he's next up. So it's been Eddie Clutch with the Clutch Time Podcast. Brought to you by Smooth TV. Sure. Getting active with it. Getting lit. Shout out my boy Mixed by Smooth. We out. Clutch Time. This one on bro with they mans on the T I'm a demon who playin' for keeps So he got a bruise to sweep him off his feet Said daddy they know I'm a tweet But a scratch in the stomach leave his body weak They know I'm mad but I still like to seek And I'm still on that block every day of the week Seb G bitch I'm known for the action If I'm dolo bit I'm pistol packing Bullets they hit him split him to a fraction He a fool if he think that I'm lacking. EMS he get shot if he mackin' Spin through the fifth see a drip then I'm blasting. When he died with a bro I was